Emco High Voltage Application Notes. Hi, uh, this is Hafez Usman Khaled, and I'm design engineer at Emco High Voltage. Today, in this video, we're going to cover how to connect and test proportional models. So before we start, I'm just going to give you a general information about the proportional models. Emco proportional models are uh, isolated, so the input is isolated from the output. And also, uh, these uh, proportional models are load dependent, so they are not load regulated. So the full load versus no load, the, I mean, it's going to be different output voltage at different input voltage uh, when you do the full load versus no load. So, uh, and that variation, it depends on different MCO models. It's going gonna, it's gonna to vary uh, from model to model. And we're going to cover uh, the equipment now. We need a low voltage power supply. Basically, it's uh, if you have a power supply, it goes up to 24, 30 volts, and it covers uh, 1.5 amps of current. It should be good for almost all the models. And then we need uh, high voltage rated resistors for the load. And we can calculate the resistance by uh, dividing the output voltage with the rated output current so we can get the exact value and the model I'm using it is it ha it has to be 2.67 mega ohms so I'm, I've configured it this load to 2.67 mega ohms and the third thing that we need is a high voltage probe uh, that is connected to the oscilloscope or a V1G a voltage divider basically so uh, this is uh, available uh, an Amco product line as an accessory. This is a V1G. It's a thousand to one uh, voltage divider, and it's matched to the 10 meg uh, impedance of uh, your DMM. Uh, we uh, we have like a test jig. It's like a ground jig, basically. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, grounds to connect to the meters uh, and to the unit. So it, it's easier. Uh, to have something like this just to connect all the grounds at the same point to have the common ground and this is a uh, high voltage standoff uh, it's when you're dealing with high voltage you need to be very very careful so what it does is it gives you a connection point where you could connect all the output meters and oscilloscope and everything uh, okay so now we have covered the equipment so basically the proportional model uh, is uh, tested under two conditions full load and no load under full load basically I mean uh, the resistance uh, the uh, the load resistance that we calculated uh, I told you how to calculate that so we connect that to the low uh, to the output voltage and in the no volt and no load condition you don't do that uh, so basically we're gonna s uh, pick a model we have uh, today I'm gonna to test a G20 uh, it's a, yeah it's a G20 2000 volts uh, unit you could you have to refer to the uh, data sheet for this model for the current rating and everything so this is a uh, output current for this is uh, maximum is 0.75 milliamp and the input uh, current is 275 milliamps for the full load and for no load it's less than one point is 165 milliamps so yeah uh, and also uh, the second page of the G series data sheet uh, it will tell you the pin configuration so uh, that is very important when you're connecting your model. Okay, so th this one, if you see, we're gonna connect this unit, uh, the pin one, it says a positive input, so I'm gonna connect the positive input lead. And then pin two is uh, ground, basically negative input. So we're gonna connect this pin two to the ground and the other end uh, connect it to the ground jig. And Pin three is positive output, so I'm going to connect this lead to the pin three, and pin four is basically negative output. So I'm going to connect it to the ground jig. Okay, so now we have all the connections to the unit. Uh, now I'll start connecting uh, the measurement equipment and the load uh, resistance. So this is what we have talked earlier about. This is a uh, high voltage standoff. I'll connect the output. A voltage lead to this one and then we'll connect the probe high voltage probe it's one lead is connected to the oscilloscope and other to the ground and this is what I've talked about earlier this is a V1G 1000 to 1 voltage divider and uh, it's 
its data sheet for the pin configuration is also available uh, on the website uh, so you can check that so basically this is the high voltage input for this and this is the measurement point uh, we're going to connect it to the uh, voltmeter and then uh, the other end goes to the ground okay so now we have everything ready except this load uh, so we're going to connect this load to the high voltage point and the other end it could go directly to the ground or you could connect uh, connect to the ground through uh, ammeter so you could uh, measure the output current as well so in this case i've connected it to the uh, ground through the ammeter so we will have uh, output current as well so now i have two uh, probes available on the oscilloscope i'm going to connect i'm going to use the other uh, probe to measure the input voltage as well so it looks like we have all the connections ready and we're ready to fire up and uh, when you're connecting this unit for the first time and when you have all the setup done it's better to start from zero instead of just going directly to 12 volts it's connecting to the 12 volts uh, because you could easily do something wrong uh, when you have this much setup. So at this point, we have all the connections ready, and we're going to start cranking up the input voltage and carefully monitor the input current, output voltage, output current through the voltmeters as well as the oscilloscope. So if you see, as we are going up on the input voltage, the output current and output voltage is increasing and at 6 volts we have 1000 volts on the output you could see it on the oscilloscope as well and go up carefully and at 12 volts okay so as you can see clearly at 12 volts we have 2000 volts 2016 volts and 0.76 uh, uh, milliamps on the output and around 230 milliamps input current so everything is in the spec you could see it on the oscilloscope as well as on the monitor and it looks like the unit is good and we have tested it under the full load condition and now we're going to test it under the no load condition so just go down to zero and just disconnect it for the safety reason i mean you don't have to but when you're dealing it with high voltage, it's always better to be careful. So I'm just going to disconnect the load from that voltage. So everything else remains the same. All the connections are the same. So I'm going to crank up the input voltage. And now you have to see the output voltage very, very carefully because see, it will tend to go higher uh, at a lower voltage. Uh, I, mean, be, I mean, you don't want to go beyond 2,000 volts on this unit. So as you can see, I am at 11 volts, and I'm already crossing 2,000 volts. So on this one, this particular unit, 11 volt will give you 2,000 volts output under low load condition. But on different uh, proportional model, uh, I mean, the input uh, at the output voltage will tend to go much higher at much lower input voltage. So you have to be very, very careful uh, under the no load condition. Under this app note, we covered how to connect and test a proportional model for positive output. Right. Thank you. You'll find us on the web at mcohighvoltage.com.